Wednesday night, the Army men's basketball team took on NJIT. It looked like it would be all Highlanders as the visitors held a double-digit lead early in the second half, but the Black Knights would start to chip away thanks to an 8-0 run. As Andrew Steyer, who has the ball in the paint, goes up strong with a left hand, rolls around and good. 42-32, NJIT out front of Army. Here's a long jumper by Simmons, hit off the front rim, off the backboard and in. Army cut the deficit down to six, but NJIT took a 10-point lead with less than four minutes to play. But those would be the final Highlander points of the game. From there, the Black Knight comeback kicked into high gear. Ellis will go to Simmons left side high. 3.05 to play in the game, Army trailing 54-44. Now make it 54-46. Hand off to Simmons, stutter step drives, pulls up, right-handed lane was short. Rebounded by Ellis, went up strong and gets the hoop and has a chance at a three-point play. Top of the key, almost taken away by Williams. Here's Wilkerson, blocked by Ellis, tipped out to the waiting hands of Mo Williams. 65 seconds to play. Williams trying to drive on Flores, goes in right-handed, lands good for the freshman Mo Williams. With under 30 seconds to play, Maxwell Lennox found a cutting Jordan Springer who scored and drew the foul. But Springer's potential game-tying free throw was just off the mark. However, a missed free throw by NJIT gave the Black Knights one more chance, but Herbeck's layup just rolled off the rim. Here's head coach Zach Spiker after the game. It was a credit to our guys to, to almost make the complete comeback. Uh, however, um, to win a game at this level, you've got to play for 40 minutes. And if you think you can do 38, 20, or anywhere in between and have success, it's unlikely you're going to get rewarded. And tonight, from the start, I felt that NJIT had energy and um, they executed early, hit some shots, and, and hey, our guys fought to the very end and almost pulled it off. The Black Knights return to the court on Saturday when they travel to Binghamton. Tip-off is at 7 p.m. Reporting from Crystal Arena, Rick Johnston, ITT Excellus Night Vision.